Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome back to the Qalam Hangout. I wanted to talk about understanding where people are coming from. You know, a lot of times we might be in a position, in a situation, whether we are standing on a member for the Friday khutbah, or we're in a Sunday school classroom, or working with the youth group, dealing with the MSA, whatever the case or the capacity might be of our involvement uh, in terms of working with the community, it's very important to keep in mind and understand where people are coming from and not necessarily project our own experience or our own background onto other people. I'm going to be really honest with y'all. Um, alhamdulillah, I had the opportunity to grow up with parents who were very religious and practicing, mashallah. And so there are certain things that, you know, I grew up with, certain values or certain a certain amount of knowledge that, you know, I grew up with and that I figure is just, to be assumed, like it's automatic. Uh, everybody grows up with that. But a, a very hard lesson that I had to learn was that I can't take that for granted. And I can't project my own experience onto others, but I have to be willing to kind of stop, slow down for a minute, and be willing to you know consider where people are coming from. And of course, the ultimate example of this, where we learned this from, is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. May peace and blessings be upon him. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always took into consideration, was always willing to, you know, accommodate people and understand where they were coming from. This is exactly why the Prophet ﷺ wrestled a man, why the Prophet ﷺ stopped, picked up a recently orphaned child, hugged him, and gave him a ride. This is why the Prophet ﷺ visited the dying son of a Jewish man, because the Prophet ﷺ was always willing to take into consideration and was always thinking of other people, was very thoughtful in that regard, that where are other people coming from? What are they dealing with? What are their experiences? What is that person's background? And then dealing with that person accordingly. So let's just try to take that into consideration. And the next time we're in a situation, we're in a position to talk to somebody, to help somebody, teach somebody, preach to somebody, slow down for just a second and put a lot of your assumptions aside and deal with that person as a human being and consider where is that person coming from, what is their background, and be willing to accommodate that. That's the prophetic quality of empathy, and that's really what we need in our communities today. Until next time, Jazakumullah Khairan. I uh, want to thank you for watching the Qalam Hangout session. Again, remember that the following week after the release of a video, we're going to be having a live Q&A session on the Qalam website. So the live Q&A session is going to be next Wednesday, 8 p.m. That's central time, so you can convert according to your local time zone. And what you can do is you can actually submit questions to be answered during that session. I'd prefer maybe if we talked about, you know, the topic that we discussed previously, but at the same time, we'll keep it open. Any and all questions that y'all have, inshallah, we'll try our best to answer them in the time that we have. So you can leave your questions on the Qalam Institute Facebook page or you can tweet them to at Qalam Institute. Just remember to tag your questions with hashtag Qalam Hangout. Jazakumullah khairan and until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.